Welcome back to the session on LaTeX. In this session, we will customize headers and footers, change the page numbering style and reset the page number. As we have seen till now, the article class displays the page number in the footer, while the book class places the page number in the footer where the chapter begins and then in the header. Well, we can customize this using the page style and this page style command. Some styles are empty, plain and heading. Let's see a demo. I am switching to text studio. So, we have our article opened here with some sections and random text. Let's build and run. As you can see, there is a page number, page number 1, page number 2. Let's increase for better readability. Now, we will write slash page style empty. Build and run. You see the footer, the page numbers are not there in the footer. Well, now let us go to the second page on this page, where section 6 is title. I will right click it and I will say go to source. If you see, I reached this particular section. This is called as reverse search. This was discussed in one of the earlier sessions as a feature of an ID. Well, now let us write slash this page style and we will write headings. We will then run. You see, the page number 2 has appeared. So, page number 1 does not have any footer. Page number 2 is headings, which displays the page number 2, and again, page number 3 is blank. Now, the set counter command is used to reset the page number. Let us examine this using a book class to just illustrate a proper example. Let us change the document class to book. We will add a chapter slash chapter overview. We will remove the page style or rather we will comment it out so that you can refer to it at any point in time. We will again go here and we will comment this out as well. We will build and run. Yes, we got our chapter in a book format. Well, let me add table of contents slash table of contents build and run two times. Okay. So, as you can see, the table of contents starts from page number 1, page number 2 is blank, chapter starts on page number 3. Well, ideally, our first chapter should start from page number 1. So, we go here and we write slash set counter page and number 1. Build and run. Contents starting from page number 1, page number 2, which is blank, chapter 1 starting from page number 1. If you see, this was also reflected in our table of contents, which starts from page number 1. Now, by default, we use Arabic style for page numbers, that is 1, 2, and 3, which we have seen till now. The other styles like Roman alphabets can also be used. Let us have a look. So, now let us do something wherein we have our contents page as Roman page numbers rather than Arabic. So, we write slash page numbering and we write Roman. We build and run. So, table of contents starting with Roman number 1, Roman number 2 which is a blank page and then again Roman number 1. Why is that so? Because we have set our page numbering to Roman. Now, let us switch it back to Arabic. So, we come here and write slash page numbering Arabic. Build and run. So, we have our contents page on Roman number 1, Roman number 2 and then chapter starting with Arabic number 1. Now, let us add a chapter called annexure slash chapter Annexure and we want the page numbering to be alphabets. 
slash page numbering alphabet and we also write a set counter to start it from page number A. And we have some content, this is the annexure of my document. Okay. Let us build and run two times, so that I have it in my table of contents. Let us go to annexure, chapter number 2, annexure starting with page number A. Let us see the table of contents, chapter 1 overview starting with page number 1, chapter 2 annexure starting with page number A and this is Roman, this is also Roman and others are Arabic page numbers. Well, so in this session we customize the header and footer we reset the page numbers and we customize the page numbering style. Thank you, have a nice day.